Hello and welcome back. Now that we've seen those two properties that we can use in our request handler, let's make use of them. And so let's jump straight into it and head on over to our router. I'm going to just clean up some of these console logs. I'm going to remove the header parameters and body console logs. I'll just keep the is authenticated and request user in there for now, just to keep track of what we're doing. And let's give ourselves some more space and start working on this. So very simply, the very first part of the request handler is we want to check before we do anything else is whether this request is authenticated or not. So the way we can do this is set up an if statement. And there are two ways that we can do this. We'll go through both of them. But to start, we can just say the request dot is authenticated value. And if that returns at false, so I'm just using that bang operator there to, to just kind of reverse the logic to evaluate it. And so if is authenticated is false, then what we want to do is return a response dot status. And this time we're going to say 403 because we want to deny access to any further information in our API. And we can just set up some JSON here. And in our JSON, we can, as we have always been doing, set up a timestamp. We can put a message in here and we'll say, access denied and then lastly we'll just pass through the code which will be 403 in this case very simple very easy to use like i said passport has done the heavy lifting this is all we need to do to kind of reject this request if it's not authenticated so let's head on over to postman and set that up real quick let's register our new user and instead of logging the user in with a valid session let's just test the case of whether or not it's going to make it past the, the conditional check we've just implemented. So if we hit send here, you'll see on the request, we do indeed see the literal value is false. The user is undefined. Our API is indeed responding with a 403 forbidden. And we've got that message or that JSON object that we've just typed up here, informing the whatever client invoked this request that this is a 403 and that's all the information they're gonna get. And as I mentioned there, so we we did the check here on we use this is authenticated method you might see and there are other ways of doing this or there is a way you can do this where you check whether the request has the user and in the same way if the user is undefined which we saw that it is in this last request it will also evaluate to false and then it will enter this cache block of the if statement and return the 403 so just for the sake of seeing that let's just test it real quick in postman and we'll need to register a user just to make sure that it's in the database and then we can hit send here and you'll see we get the exact same result another 403 forbidden the, the request is not authenticated uh, there's no user on there so that's all working as expected so there are two properties that you can use I think the cleaner, more explicit way is to use this auth is authenticated method. It kind of just, this is just like easier to read, very sim simple and straightforward, true or false, passport will do the work, very easy. That is the, the simple piece of work that we need to do. All the hard work, all the stuff that we did in the previous lesson is now in place. And so we can just reference this one property and this makes locking down our API super, super easy. And, and quite robust using this basic local strategy. Let's take a short break here and we'll continue just finishing up the work that we need to do to make this endpoint work 100% correct in all three cases. And so we need to do a bit more on the, the success case. In the case that it is a valid request, let's actually send the information that the request is expecting back. So I'll see you on over there. Cheers for now.